What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's talk about it. Now, Cardi B, nobody ever said she was the greatest rapper in the world. But she dropped her new song, Be Careful, to lukewarm responses. I did a review of the song and I said, lyrically, the song was on point. Now, I, I'm not stupid enough to believe that she wrote it. So, anyway, um, this guy called whatever Life of Party, or what's his name, Jameer or something, put out those same verses that she used in her song back in 2017. So people start questioning about her hiring a ghostwriter for Be Careful. And his name is Partisan Fontaine, the name of the rapper. And one of his aliases, which is Jordan Thorpe, was listed as the writing credit for Be Careful. Partisan Fontaine and Jordan Thorpe are the same person. Now, it wasn't, it wasn't um, Partisan Fontaine who released this clip. Like, he released this last year back when he was just rhyming. So when he help write this song for Cardi, which is supposed to be a diss song towards Offset, you know, to her man, which is personal. She hired a ghostwriter. Look, does anybody believe Cardi B is writing rhymes? Okay. With her diction? No. <laughs> <laughs> witty wordplay no all she had to do was wrap it and give it the delivery you know it deserved and she's another Nicki Minaj so I really don't see too much of the outrage because it's not like people were giving her writing credibility in the first place Does it does it sound like she wrote Bodak Yellow? That's a that's a Beagles throwaway track that ended up becoming the biggest song of the year. They could have used Bodak Yellow. So I mean Listen, the same things have been happening for a long period of time around here, meaning that um, the rap game ain't changed. There's been plenty of people come out talking about they wrote for Nikki, they wrote for this person, they wrote for that person. Nobody cares. They only care about is the song dope or not. That's it. Y'all have learned that from all the Drake mess. They tried to find a way to crucify him for no reason, saying he didn't write when they collaborated on songs. And what was crazy is none of those guys that they talking about now They not even mention. Nobody even talks about that. They only care if the song is dope. Because in the end, that's all that matters. Do you like the song? Oh, you don't? Well, oh, well. <laughs> so if the song ain't popping anyway, which 
a lot of people is like, eh. All the Bodak Yellow fans are like, eh. I'm like, it's straight to me. It's all right. I wouldn't have chose that beat, but it's all right. You know? But we'll see what happened in the end. Because you know how people be like, eh. Then they be like, it was great. Stop hating. So, let's see how many, how much people care about this. It will fade away in less than a week. I'm out.